was just having conversations with people. What was it? Yes. And I was the one saying what you just said with a group of my staff because I do think we have to figure out how to mobilize America on this question and the world on this question. I proposed a plan. My, my climate plan is very much based on, uh, among other things, using conservation as a tool for sequestering carbon, which means figuring out how to engage our farmers and ranchers in this discussion, which we have not effectively done so far. I'll come back to why I'm doing that. And second, I say in that, that I, there's a nine-month schedule I lay out in the plan for passing climate legislation. And if we don't get it done, then what I say is I'll use every executive order available to the president to make sure we can address climate change. But having said that, I get something that I think is really important for people to understand. I often hear people say we need to act urgently on climate change, and I agree with that. I think if we don't act urgently, the next generation of Americans may have even less of less to thank us for because it is very possible that climate, unlike any of the other issues we're dealing with, if we don't address it starting now, that it may be too late by the time the next generation is in a position to deal with it. It seems like every single week there's more evidence that, the, that it's accelerating and moving beyond our ability to control it if we don't act now. But as we act urgently, we also have to act in a, in, a, in a way that creates a durable solution. What do I mean by that? We have gotten used to a politics in Washington that either accomplishes nothing, like you, you know, you've seen it, you may not know you've seen it, but you've seen it, it comes in the form of a politician who comes home to you and says, I know you wanted to get that thing done, or I said I would get that thing done, but it says other guys that made it impossible for me to get it done. We perfected the art of that. Or we get something done and two years later the other side rips it out. We have a president who's in there and then the other side rips it out. We can't accept that form of politics. Sometimes people say to me, Michael, look, let's just substitute our form of one party rule for their form of one party rule. It won't work. It's complicated and un unpleasant, but it won't work. And the reason it won't work is we need our climate solution to last beyond the presidency. We need, it's the last, you can't fix climate in two years. You can't fix it in four or eight years. We need to fix it urgently now, but over the course of generations. And that means we have to reconstruct our policy. So this exercise we're engaged in right now is not only about beating Trump, it's about overcoming a theory of politics that says the way to lead the American people is to divide the American people. I think the opposite of that is true which is that we have to govern this country again, and in order to do that, we need a set of policies, including our climate policies, that will unite the American people, and I think we can do that. I'm optimistic.